okay, I just posted this article um, to um, a few social media sites. I'm gonna post it to YouTube as well. I just wrote it. It's called State Trooper Who Killed Man Is Quietly Transferred by Joshua Gray. Augusta, Maine. State Trooper Lieutenant Scott W. Ireland was quietly transferred back to the Executive Protection Unit after his troub troubled tenure as the commander of the Weapons and Licensing Unit. Newly promoted Lieutenant Michael Johnston is now in command of the unit. This happened more than a year after Lieutenant Ireland shot and killed a man in Vassalboro and amidst an onslaught of accusations that he is an unethical cop. A private investigator from Boston has repeatedly claimed that Lieutenant Ireland is a dishonest police officer and even predicted that he would kill someone. The investigator's warnings were answered with false criminal charge, denial of his license, and denial of his license to work in Maine. Lieutenant Ireland's transfer happened at the same time Superior Court Judge Michaela Murphy was deciding the private investigator's appeal of his license denial. And this is a picture of Lieutenant Ireland. It seems very plausible that Ireland's transfer back to the unit he was promoted from is the result of his involvement in the killing of two people, as well as information revealed during the appeal of the private investigator's license. While the state did not take away Trooper Ireland's lieutenant stripes, they did move him to the Executive Protection Unit, where he will have minimal contact with the general public and is now part of a state police unit that protects the governor and other executives. This can clearly be viewed as a demotion for a series of poor decisions that led to the death of a man, violations in constitutional rights, and exposure to lawsuits. Private investigator Joshua Gray from Boston has long stated his opinion that Mr. Ireland is a dirty cop who is a danger to the public. P.I. Gray's warnings were echoed by others in the private investigation industry. P.I. Gray predicted that Lieutenant Ireland would kill someone nearly a year before he was involved in the killing of a man and woman in Vassalboro, Maine. Lieutenant Ireland fired the shot that killed Cadhar Bailey, while Trooper Jeff Parks fired the shot that killed Amber Fager. P.I. Gray had applied for a private investigator license in Maine in 2003 and was denied based on parking tickets. After that denial, P.I. Gray learned the Maine State Police have a reputation for not allowing non-law enforcement to become private investigators in Maine. P.I. Gray was told by many other private investigators the state of Maine was corrupt when it came to who they gave private investigator licenses to. In 2011, when P.I. Gray applied for a P.I. license a second time, it was no surprise when the state police filed a false criminal charge against him for working in Maine without a license. This was completely untrue, and then Superior Court Judge Jeffrey Helm, who is now a Maine Supreme Court Justice, dismissed the case before trial. Lieutenant Scott W. Ireland then retaliated against P.I. Gray when he allowed Detective David Pelletier to contact Mr. Gray's largest client and inform them he was under an ongoing investigation or an investigation that is ongoing. The client immediately stopped using P.I. Gray, but the retaliation did not stop there. P.I. Gray's license application was denied, citing the very false criminal charge that had just been dismissed. During the appeal process, P.I. Gray reached an agreement to withdraw the application, wait for 12 months, and then reapply. This compromise was made in an effort to stop endless appeals by both sides. When P.I. Gray applied for a Maine P.I. license for a third time, he fully anticipated the application would be denied. P.I. Gray retained attorney Roger Hurley early in the process to be prepared. It was expected when the application was denied after a nine-month background investigation. What was unexpected was the reason they gave. The state police cited social media posts that were critical of Lieutenant Ireland's handling of the killing in Vassalboro as their reason for denying the private investigator license application. The denial was immediately appealed and exposed just how far the state police would go to violate Mr. Gray's constitutional rights. During the appeal process, the state of Maine argued that P.I. Gray was an incompetent, immoral liar because he wrote false information on social media. However, they failed to mention that whenever something he wrote turned out to be wrong, he corrected himself. 
They even went so far as to not include the corrected social media posts in their discovery materials. The state's attorney made the argument that Lieutenant Ireland had no history of internal affairs complaints when P.I. Gray himself had made an internal affairs complaint a few years prior. They said that Mr. Gray's claim of Lieutenant Ireland, Ireland killing the man outside his house was a lie, but then told the court it actually happened a half a mile down the street. In rural Maine, that is outside a house. The state made the claim that P.I. Gray accused Lieutenant Ireland of possibly being drunk, but then told us the only drug or alcohol test was another officer smelling the breath of Lieutenant Ireland. No blood, breathalyzer, or scientific tests were conducted to confirm that. While someone involved in the case was clearly incompetent, immoral, and a liar, it was not P.I. Gray. Lieutenant Ireland was found to be justified in the shooting of the man in Vassalboro and has no sustained internal affairs complaints on his record. However, while the state of Maine will not find him at fault publicly, they appear to be quietly taking steps to limit his ability to keep making poor decisions that could expose them to more lawsuits. The mother of Amber Fager filed a wrong, wrongful death lawsuit against the Maine State Police and both Lieutenant Ireland and Trooper Parks were named in the suit. While the U.S. District Judge Lance Walker recently ruled that Lieutenant Ireland was to be removed from the lawsuit, Lieutenant Ireland's actions helped expose the state to the legal liability in the first place. Mr. Gray continues to maintain his opinion that Lieutenant Ireland is an unethical cop who is a danger to the citizens of Maine, but there is some limited justice and seeing that he has been transferred to a unit where he will have less contact with the general public. This article was written by Joshua Gray. And then you can see a screenshot of the Maine State Police. Here's a screenshot of their website showing. If you look at the bottom, you'll see uh, Lieutenant Ireland is executive protection now. All right, thanks for listening.